Today I'm going to show you guys how to install drywall rings and uh, I have three of the most popular styles over the past 10 years that I've seen on the market. This first one here is the Erico MPLS, it's their steel one. And we also have the Arlington Industries, the LV1. And we have the Erico MP1P. And we're going to start off with this uh, drywall ring right now. It's going to come with two tabs that basically you're going to put one on the top, one on the bottom, and it's going to act kind of like a zip tie once we get it in there. Uh, one of the things that makes this ring a little bit, uh, well, I guess I wouldn't say better, but you might like it a little bit better than the other two, are that it has four little points here on each corner. And what you do with that is you want to go ahead and press it into the sheetrock, and it'll leave, I know it's too small to tell on the camera, but it'll leave four indents on what point to cut. Your starting point, your ending point, that sort of thing. You don't have to use a pen. So let's go ahead and start cutting. Okay, now we got the hole cut out. And I have the tab on the top and the bottom of the MP1P. And basically you're going to just put the bottom end or top end first and then push the other tab to where it goes in. Once you have it in place, this is what the back of it looks like. Once you have it in place, you're going to reach in with your fingers and just push the tabs in on the bottom and the top. And it leaves it really nice and snug. Now on the front, the only complaint I've heard about this ring, and it's going to vary from contractor to contractor, is the plastic. It, I've been told that once you put your faceplate on, the faceplate will sit out a little bit more than the other two style mud rings. And the screw holes, this is kind of a hard plastic if you're using just a uh, screwdriver manually, not a, not a drill you will have uh, take a little bit of effort to screw it in there manually so well now we got the Arlington Industries LV1 it has these two tabs that we're gonna kinda just get out of the way push your ring in there and then you can go ahead and uh, reach in there with your fingers make sure it doesn't move And you tighten the bottom one down. You're going to want to go ahead and do the same with the top. Now this mud ring does lay down a little, little bit further down to where when you put your face plate on it won't stick out just a tad over the MP1P. And on the back of it, this is what it looks like. The tabs itself, they have a little uh, little uh, tab that catches this other pla pa plastic piece to where you screw it. It stops it from moving. It stays right in place. Squeezes it right in there and you're good to go. Uh, this is Erico's MPLS. This is their steel mud ring and you're basically going to put it in place, curl the tabs into the sheetrock for the top and the bottom tab and then includes a couple screws and an opening here where the drywall screw should screw into. Okay. okay, I'm not gonna do the top, but you can see what it looks like on the back of it. The screw will screw into the tab and hold the ring in place. Now, one of the bad things I've heard about this ring is because you have a sharp screw in here, technicians, contractors that reach in there with their hands will poke themselves, possibly cut themselves. It is sharp, or sometimes I've even heard when you're pulling cable, the screw will cut the uh, telephone or computer cable. Compared to the LV1, uh, it, has, it does have screws, but they don't have a sharp end on them. And the MP... 1P, the plastic one of course, doesn't come with any type of screws. 
this this has a nice feature the little points here to where you know where to cut out your drywall and the other two don't have that advantage to them and that's basically a quick rundown on the different type of rings out there questions call us 888-797-3697